chips on bigger of the waves are skimming there and summits to the verdant plains each horizon is a new beginning rise and rain 120 the psalm verse 1 kjv in my distress i cried unto the lord and he heard me hello fellow white shavers we were here no me shaved back with another shaving video how is everybody as you can tell by the angle and the background i am not a whole I do apologize about this angle. Um, I forgot my um, camera mount. <clears throat> Pardon me. Which is at home. I am in Germany right now. I'm actually in Dresden. Pretty excited to be here. I haven't been to this city in well over 10 years. Um, and the last time that I came here, I was here for a month. This time I'm here for two weeks. Um, I'm staying at a different hotel. Be I'm staying at the, the Courtyard Marriott. A nice hotel. It's a little far from the city center, unfortunately. Um, so... There's not much to sightsee in this area, but um, the city center is about a 45 minute walk, so maybe I'll do it this weekend if I have time off. Apologize about the echo. Uh, let me try to open the door. That might help a little bit. Oh yeah, it does help a little bit. All right, so got that squared away. Um, I haven't had a chance to do any wet shaving or find any good wet shaving gear yet, so if anybody watches this video and you live in the area, please let me know where I can find some cool wet shaving stuff. I did find a pack of blades that I have never seen before. This brand, Elkos. I'm gonna assume they're gonna be like the Wilkies, uh, the German Wilkinson swords. That's gonna be my first assumption. So I'll be using these, I'll see how they shave. Be using the trusty old Travel Rockwell 6S on, oh, I have R2 right now, but actually I'll be using R4. Soap, I'm going with Sterling's Deep Blue Sea. If you guys don't know what this is, this is a dupe or based off of, um, is it Christian Dior Sauvage? That's the one where Johnny Depp's picture's all over it. Yeah, that one. I have that blooming right here. And I have my trusty old Zenith Boar Brush this time. Cute little cup, huh? All right. Let me put this uh, bloom water on my face. And actually, you know what? Let me load the blade first. All right. I hope everybody's doing well. I, I think I think it's been a couple weeks since my last shave. I uh, the last time that I shaved, I had to do a rush shave because my daughter was. Um, oh yeah, look at this. So a little cardboard piece here first. You guys have all seen plastic tux, right? But my daughter was getting um, awarded for honor society in her in one of her, for psychology, which is really cool. So I, it was a busy day at work. Um, so I kind of have to rush my shave so I didn't have a chance to film it. I do apologize about that. All right, nice. Not, oh, I, I pulled out two. So put this back. Okay. All right. It's wrapped in paper. Like, I don't feel any wax on it. Oh, wow. It looks like a kite blade. No. There's no uh, markings on it. Old school style. Oh, I should have. Shucks. All right. Load, load it in the old Rockwell. Yeah, so my last shave, I think. What did I use? I think I went. I think I went with my. Uh, my Gillette New Long Comb. Yeah, yeah, I use that one a lot. such a smooth smooth shaper I haven't put it on camera in a while all right yep there you go you guys can see the four trust me it's there all right I'm gonna go ahead and put this to the side so I don't get hurt all right I'm gonna put this blue mortar on my face and we'll hit cracking oh, this angle's working out okay yeah so I got here Sunday. This is Wednesday. And uh, tomorrow is, um, I guess it's Father's Day here in Germany. That's kind of neat. So, look, lucky Germans, they get to take the whole day off. But I don't. <laughs> so, uh, work is going to be fun tomorrow. 
All right, let me go ahead and do this. Better warm up the brush. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell from the bathroom, but it's it's tiny. It's tiny. I'm gonna just put the razor in the warm water there. Weather here isn't too bad. It's um, I think it's like in the high 60s, maybe low 70s, but it's kind of it's been a little bit wet, so it's been raining off and on. Oh, this is um that their three ounce tub. I I, I like these. I really like these. It's been a while since I've put a. I can't say that. I was going to say it's been a while since I've used the Sterling on camera, but it's probably not true. I like Sterling. Just load it like you hate it. Guys, those of you who've been watching me more recently, um, I do thank you. And uh, I really do appreciate the views. Appreciate the comments, too. I know sometimes I'm a little slow in responding, but I'm trying to find a little time for that kind of stuff. All right, rinse this off. That's hot. Ouch. Ooh, that's hot. Dang. Do this. Oh man. Alright, got, got the hair getting in the way. What am I gonna talk about? Oh the other thing is you know I, I got here on Sunday and those of you in the US who have never been to Germany. Everything is closed on Sunday. I mean, everything. I, I you guys know I, I, I'm trying to follow a keto style diet more carnivore than anything. So I kind of have to be really careful on any restaurants that I go to. Um, I know, I know, take all the fun out of it. But you know what? I put on way too much weight this year and I have to do what I can to drop a few pounds but uh so trying to find some food was not very easy uh, so I had to go to I found I found a, a market that was open it was open is at the train station and they had some lunch meats and stuff like that got a little bit of water Adding a little bit of water to the lather here just to shine it up a bit. I, I don't know if I mentioned it in the beginning of the video, I can't remember. My memory's garbage. But if you guys hear the fan, I apologize because there's nothing I can do about it. I hope you're not getting the fan and I hope you're just getting me. Can you guys hear that? I love this brush. I really, really love this brush. Come on. Oh, too high. All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, clear the runways a little bit. Right? Yeah. Where's my razor? Over here. All right, here we go. Let me warm it up a bit more. First pass with the grain, let's see how it goes. Hmm. Not as sharp as I was expecting. What does it feel like? But not bad. I like it more than that bank Vanderhagen that I used. Yeah, I definitely like it more than that. This is a more comfortable shave. It's 
reminds me a little bit of an aster green. It's, it's actually really, really smooth. Cheap too. Um, I believe, if I, oh man, I think it might've been 150 euro. Yeah, kind of, it does remind me of an Aster Green. Oh, this is um, about a week's worth of growth, too. About. It's probably, see, I shaved Wednesday or Thursday last week. This is Wednesday. So yeah, almost a week. Almost a week. Oh, this blade is doing pretty good. I'm surprised. I may get another pack of these. I can barely feel the blade. It's nice. Really nice. We'll see how second pass goes though. Because it's not, it's not as sharp as some other blades that I've used. You know, all this traveling, boy, I, I, I don't get a chance to home. And I miss it. I really enjoy it. So having said that, I actually have been considering getting like a, a small Copa. Um, that way, you know, it's easy to travel with. And I can also at the same time practice, you know, handheld or working in a small area. So I think I, I may do that. I'm still wanting to get some Nagura too. I'm still playing around with that idea. I, I really would like to try to learn how to do a, a full Japanese progression. And then if it all works out, eventually, I'd like to make a little travel kit, right? With a small stone and some small Nagura. That would be cool. All right, let me rinse this off. And then we'll see how past two feels. Stand by. So... Probably my fault. I'm trying to rush a little bit. Not as close as normal on my first passes. So I've got, well, that's my fault right here. Um, it, but it's where I usually struggle. Um, it's still pretty rough right there, but I've got a feeling the second pass will take right, right in good care of that. I hope everybody's doing well, man. Um, you know, all this traveling has just been kind of wearing me out a little bit. It's not sure right. I'm home a week, I travel. Home a week, I travel. Home a week, I travel. I've got a bunch of vacation coming up soon, though. So, have a wedding in Mexico to go to. And then um, heading out to visit the in-laws in the Philippines. A couple weeks after that. So... That trip to the Philippines, I don't think I'll be able to put up any videos. I do apologize about that, but I'll do my best to put one up just before I leave. All right, here we go. Second pass. So those of you who, I haven't, I haven't talked about this for quite some time, but I like to do two pass shaves now. And what I do is typically with the grain, and then this is, my second pass is kind of a hybrid, the way my hair grow, grows, right? So it's kind of like, cross with or cross against the grain on my cheeks um, and it does really really good job and then on my neck I'll just go against the grain
Yeah, I can't remember the last time I talked about why I shave the way I do. I get less irritation with just um, two passes. And I know some people that just want to get it done in one pass. That's crazy. I can't do that. I've tried. Yeah, these are good blades. I'm going to have to get some more. my time 16 oh, not too bad the other 20 minutes shame darn it listen to that feedback but yeah honing is so much fun I was enjoying doing those videos for you I really did I still have to finish up that that razor. Uh, I'm missing up here. I think I want to. I'm, I'm really considering taking it to the J Nap. But there's also trying to see how the 12K feels too. I can always do both, right? So yeah, maybe I can do that. Maybe I'll just do the full synthetic progression. Shave with it. And then I can go back to the JNAT anytime, right? Guys, that's pretty good. Good enough for government work. Right, and rinse off. I need to rinse in cold water. Come on, get cold, get cold. I always struggle down here, I don't know why. I guess maybe it's the way the, the hair grows and stuff. I don't know. But yeah, that's a, actually a really impressive blade. Little, little on the dull side. Just a touch on the dull side for what I like. But overall, it's really, really good. Um, all right, quick little recap. Sterling's Deep Blue Sea. If you don't have Sterling, gotta get some Sterling. Get the Sterling. These little, little tiny three ounces are just awesome. For, wait, here we go. There you go really awesome for, for travel. I, I should use more. Now, I've, I've got two scents that, that I'm not a huge fan of. Uh, one is Suka, the other one is the Royale, which is based off of um, Creed like Millennium or something like that. Uh, it's just not, not, my, my, not my cup of tea. But, hey, if you like Colony scents, I think you'll like those. And then my Zenith Boar Brush, which you guys know, this is Really my favorite, favorite board brush right now. Uh, Sterling is a close second, but I really like this one. Okay. Razor was the uh, Rockwell 6S. You guys can see the Rockwell right there. Plate number four. I like four. That's my go-to is four. I like four. I said I like four a lot. And then these Elkos for men razors. You guys can see the German writing there. Um, can't, I, I guess they're made in Germany? Can, can you, can somebody pause that, screenshot that and translate for me? 
but uh, I, I really like the way they're wrapped. I, I like that. I enjoy that. All right. Uh, like I said, I'll be here for two weeks. The next shave, I, I brought something different. I haven't used this for uh, quite some time. Zingaris. Um, this is the Socialite. It's like a gin and tonic. Oh, man. This is a beautiful, beautiful scent. Good brother in Christ, JB, sent this over to me. Really, really appreciate it. Beautiful, beautiful soap. It's got that synthetic menthol, so I'll use this in the next shave. All right. That's my shave, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed this. And again, please, chime down below if you know some places I can go to to find some wet shaving gear. I found uh, Paul Mullen in it too, but I found this other stuff that I've used before that I didn't like. Um, I did see the Wilkinson Sword DE Razor. I've got one, I didn't like it. Um, like, it's too, too mild for me. That's pretty much all I've seen. I've seen a couple of cheap looking brushes. Uh, I'm not even gonna bother with those, but, but I'm, I'm, I'm looking for, I want some shave soap stuff, right? So, or some cool cream, some soaps. Uh, I wish Il Kalani was still in business, otherwise I'd, I'd get a bunch of their stuff, but it's, it is what it is, right? They all, they closed up shop quite some time ago. But yeah, there's a there's a store that I'm going to go to that I haven't been to in, that I haven't been to on this trip, but the last time that I went there, that's where I bought my tobacco, so we'll see what they have there. Uh, so yeah, please, check down below. Again, thanks for joining me, everybody. If you stuck with me this long, I really, really appreciate it. All right, I'm going to call it a night. Uh, hope everybody has a fantastic rest of your week. Um, God bless each and every one of you. And as always, please do not text and drive. I'll be the same.